Mind to sleep. Big, thick, dick, big, dick, daddy Dawson on the goddamn guitars, fucking ripping strings on every fucking song. And don't forget about Sing 'em Up Steve. Who knew he could it, play the drums? He actually doesn't dodge that many balls. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Catches most of them in his I mouth. Do, yeah. I hear that. Open. This guy's seen more balls than a circus seal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coming to your town, we're fucking your moms, and we're going bareback. Oh, and we're we're using the back door. I'm like, this guy's like, get the fuck out of here. Guess, oh, 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 something that brings me joy, yeah, if I may. Like fly on this. Jeffy's Christopher Walken. Yeah, just make him kills me. Back to the future. Oh, is this? Ah, oh, come on. How you do that? We're not pulling any impersonations. Yeah. The only impersonation is uh, your mom's face. <laughs> After I fucking <laughs> left a. Uh, but a schmore in her mouth, you know, that's why there's peanut butter and a marshmallow. It's tasty nice treat. There you go. Happy? Watch this. Put camera down. Right in the nuts sack. Oh. oh. <laughs> Be a bro, seriously. Anyway, our album's coming out. You guys come check out our website. I don't know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> we fuck your mom dot com. Growler fuck your mom dot com. Growler fuck your mom dot com. You know the fucking rock and roll city of Victoria. If you love this shit, that's where we all came back here. I came out of fucking jail in Taiwan. That's where they got me. No, after you. Yeah, do double decker, man. We made it! We made it! Logan's bathroom at two what like one thirty in the afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. We're celebrating. We just got signed to Absolute Underground Records. Uh, believe that. And uh, oh. this is what? This what is, is the signing party. What is the right now? Now? Robocop. It's about Robocop. The greatest movie of all time. The greatest Irish superhero. Don't you know that? No. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's not all about fucking just riding bareback. <laughs> We're about leaving cross-eyed babies from coast to motherfucking coast. So, I, uh, and then after she got out of the shower and bent over and I saw her growler. It's like when, you know, she didn't quite shave them off, but she bends over and it's a growler. Which one you get under shower? <laughs> oh, I don't care. That I'm, is a beer crap. I'm going to drink it. I don't care. <laughs> Drink that shitty ass beer. See this? Paps, we love you. 
Growler, Logan's good night. Ira, don't go changing. Since 93, whatever that is, 16, 17. In the very early days, there was a couple little lineup changes, and those guys were like history. I mean, these days, we try to not sleep on floors too much, you know? Because, I mean, we're not in our 20s anymore, so it is what it is. We did that stuff for a very long time. We were all into, like, early 80s UK punk and stuff like that. That was our biggest influence at the time. It was just, it was a small community, you know? In New York City, it was a very small, like, knit, like, it was us, it was public nuisance, it was like, the Bristols, it was like, like, 77, it was like, we were all bros, and it was very, it was bands playing for bands, it wasn't very many audiences, and it was like that for a long time, and then people started giving a shit about the categories. I was still in high school, so we would only tour in the summers. Old fucking summer, dude. I would come back and go back to school. It took a while, you know. We we didn't. There was no bands being like, come on tour with us. And it got us to where we're at, you know. I mean, look, we're playing with Guar. That's fucking awesome. I have a tattoo shop in Jersey City, and so. Uh, um, Sue Catwoman, the first punk rock girl. Um, you know, creep show, punk rock stuff. Douche, punk for life. Because I was just like, yeah, New York hardcore, you know? Life. If you're ever in town, check out our, my tattoo shop, Jersey City Tattoo Company. having to go to work, you know what I mean? But problem is, yeah. it's impossible to keep a relationship. I miss my dog, George misses his kid. It's, 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 uh, there's a certain kind of stress that you don't have living this lifestyle, you know? There's times where you're like, kind of, you, get, you get a little burnt out, you know? So, and it's awesome, and it's a good time. And, uh, Fucking A, man, like, just like, I like to keep busy. If I'm not on tour, I want to go back to work, you know? I can't just sit around. You know, it's, uh, it is what it is, man. We appreciate the support, and we'll, every time we get on that stage, we're going to give it 100%, so come see us. Hey, this is Jake from The Casualties, and you're watching Absolute Underground TV, home of hardcore punk rock.
worm and try to kill you running in the Shangri-La sun. Hide in a hut, Kalua in a coconut. Attempted murder never seems so fun. Oh, baby. spearfish a burbot. The burbot is a landlocked lake cod and this particular burbot has been stealing bikinis during the summertime. It's become a nuisance. So the fisheries has issued me a permit to come and spear and fish them out of here. Once I get them, I'm going to take them to the top of Black Hole Mountain and cook them up black and Cajun style for my friends. You might be wondering about the apple. Well, burbots love apples. So I'm kind of hoping that he's going to go for it and I can shoot it right down his throat. This is our show, hope you enjoy it. We've got our burbot. I've got my blackening pan smoking hot. I've got my blackening spice. And right about now, I'm gonna cut into this fish and cut them up into portions and get them ready to go. Oh, whoa! My fish! <laughs> Fish cup, 
pass. All right. Hey, where's the pass for that fish? Did you see a cod just roll by me in a six stale fish? Just come through here. Yeah, man, he got some huge stale fish. Now he's heading down to the pipe with no helmet. Where's he headed to? Down to the pipe. Hey, man, did you see my fish come by here? Holy fuck, man. He was busting shit. Where did he go? Which way did he go? I think down that way. Goddamn motherfucking son of a bitch! This is a public service announcement. Punk is it. That's it. With guitar! The Punk Show. Sponsored by Anarchy, Rage, and Spit. And only at thezone.fm. Michelle from uh, Absolute Underground TV talking with Abe and Sergio of the Mighty Deftones. How are you doing, guys? Really well. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're doing great. <laughs> the Mighty throw you off. Yeah. The best band in the world. My favorite band, anyway. So I noticed you guys have some Vancouver love. About five years ago, we played the Commodore. We played three shows in a row. This time you're playing two shows. Is it, do you notice a big Deftones fan base here, or do you just love it here? Nope. Well, I mean, I think all of it. I think you know, it's, it's obviously um, connect, you know, the Pacific Northwest is a, is a, yeah. a dear place for us all. You know, we've, we've spent a lot of time up over the years, um, and uh, no, it's just a very, it's a magical land, man. And we're always stoked to be here. The very first, very, very first Warp tour, the very first show of it, I think, was in. It was up here. It right? was up here. It was at the PNC at the. At, uh, at, 1998 Warp tour. Was it 94? 95? Yeah. But that's when I first met this dude. That very day. Yes. Nice. nice. So, you're the, the newbie right now. Yeah. Coming in for cheap. Anything weird that you want to share with us? Things about me. Does he, does he <laughs> <laughs> hang his socks up on the... the <laughs> he's rad. He's, he's rad. And, um, I don't know, why don't you talk about yourself? Yeah, I'm really awesome. Great company, no. It's just, uh, it's fun, man. We just hang out, have a good time. You know, like uh, like Abe was saying earlier, we, we first met in 95, so we've known each other for a while. And uh, just have a good time, man, because everyone's stoked to play. You know, and then we come into different situations where, you know, kids are coming out and they're excited. It gets you more excited. And it's, you know. Speaking of you filling in for Chi, there's the um, one album that you guys were working on, Eros. Um, is that shelved indefinitely, or are you guys thinking of working on it at all or uh, something completely new um the term selv comes up quite often and i always like to just say it's on it's on the back burner it's just simmering on simmer slow low slow and low you know um i mean obviously you know we talked about it quite a bit i think that you know people we we were waiting for the you know maybe he could he could join us and play the songs or you know it definitely will come out at some point it was not it was very near to being completed it wasn't quite done um so just a tad bit of work to you know to be done on it and stuff but uh we were really just kind of hanging, waiting for our brother to, you know, be able to maybe, you know, be around, man. So, and uh, so, so it's just sort of chilling for now. I'm sure we'll see the light of day when it, when the time is right, though. You know. Is it was it a big different for, difference from Diamond Eyes? Diamond Eyes came came together very quickly. I mean, and and and, and it was just a, a absolute blast to make. You know, I mean, um, Eros was was at that point in time. We you know we had spent a lot of time rekindling our. Friendship, and uh, you know, and, and all the all the while we're, we're we're all best friends and brothers and stuff. But uh, over the years, it's been we've, making records for us has gotten harder and harder. And I think we realized that it was actually us making it hard. It wasn't that hard to do, but uh, such is life sometimes. You know what I mean? And uh, so we were really you know focusing on just being friends again and really enjoying each other's company. And then 
you know, she had his accident, and that was that. Was that. So, uh, you know, I, I, they're, they're definitely different records, you know. Um, there's a spontaneity to, to Diamond Eyes that was uh, unparalleled. I mean, it just came, it came out of just, like, out of nowhere. It came out of yeah. desperation, but also it just came, you know, just we were very focused, man, you know, and, and it, was, it, was, uh, it was pretty cool, so. After doing this tour, are you guys going to work on a new album, or are you just going to take it easy for a bit? We'll just take the uh, second half of July off and, 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 and maybe try to start writing, just bounce some ideas around. But Stefan just informed us that he'll be joining the, uh, the World, pro, world, pro, world pro, yeah. Poker Tour. Yeah. yeah. Tour Poker. So, but that's the plan. And then we're going to go back to Europe for some, uh, some finish up some of the, the some kind of festivals and stuff like there. And I believe, and then actually come back and start writing a record. But uh, if he wins, we're screwed. I mean, if he wins, yeah, if he wins, then he'll be like, you know, he'll be like, you know, <laughs> maybe we all get new gear. I'm wishing him the best, but at the same time, I'm wishing, you know, he's out the first hand. Yeah. So, all right, this is Michelle from Atlas Underground TV saying goodbye with the Deftones. Right on. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's happening? I'm Abe. Sergio with the Deftones, and you're watching Absolute Underground TV. finished playing Logan's with Rebel Spell. Mm -hmm. How did you enjoy it? First time in Victoria in the last. It's been a while. I think uh, we were here Knucklehead once a while ago. I think that was at least two years ago. That was, it seems like an eternity. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good it, turnout. Was, it was a full house. fucking full house and a uh, great show, a few technical issues, but uh, that was okay. It's okay. Fucking great people here tonight. It was really fun. Packed house. Yeah, and then until so we got run off the stage, but whatever, yeah, that happens, I guess. Curfews. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they were already in trouble with the I think too. I guess so. Yeah. Houses around and people complaining. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it's fifth, on the 15th it came out. Yeah, that's called It's a Beautiful Future. I really like the artwork. There's a like collaboration, three, yeah, three or so different I, artists. I, I like asked a over. bunch of kind of talented people that I knew, and we, we kind of figured out, okay, who can draw and stuff. And I asked about six people, and three people came up with some stuff, and that's what we got. So, yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah, did they go with like your lyrics and then draw uh, a little? A little bit. I give them songs and then they all just kind of ignored it and just did their own thing. So, yeah. worked it okay. Like, sort of their own interpretations of something in the record, I guess. So, and this one got put up by Rebel Time Records? Yeah, we just figured we should probably do some promo this time and like try to, you know, get the CD to a few more people instead of just kind of flailing around in our van and hoping that people will listen to us. I, I guess I just always kind of write about stuff that matters to me, so it helps me not look like too much of a faker up there, I guess. So you're going to tour the hell out of it? Uh, it's going to tour the hell out of us, I think that's how that works. Yep. Yeah.
little while. Well. Yeah, yeah, we, we had some issues for sure. sure. Lineup changes. Lineup changes and that kind of thing, and you know, the writing's never been very easy for us. Off and then Vancouver, and then a week off, and then we'll go across Canada. So mm -hmm. that'll be pretty whirlwind, I guess. Hopefully, it doesn't snow the whole fucking time. Is anyone trying to sneak into the States? Um, not, not right away. We're actually planning on going to Europe in May and June. So nice. then after that, we can think about going back to the land of the enslaved. So where in Europe? Um, mostly northern kind of stuff, but. Uh, Start a journey in a big circle. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, I can't work under these conditions. Out! Steel Tiger, and you're watching Absolute Underwear TV. You're, you got Tiger Blood.